computer database at New Scotland Yard holds the fingerprints of every convicted criminal in the UK, making it the investigative team's first port of call. Yeah, we've had this one in, it's an aggravated burglary. Yeah. The guy was at home when the burglary happened and he's been stabbed quite seriously ill. So could I ask you to fast track this one through for us? Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. The finger marks from the crime scene are scanned into the computer database. You can see that if you put your hand on it, you can see that it's these fingers, because it's a sequence. And I'll pick out the best, the best mark to search on the database. Obviously, the more, the more unique features that you can point out, the, um, the better the computer will be able to pick out the right respondent. There is no set number, no, until I'm satisfied with it, really. The characteristics that Yin is looking for are ridge breaks, ridge endings, and ridge divides. OK, right, I'm satisfied with that now, so what we'll do is send it off for search um, on the database. Looks like we might have a match, but I'll have to confirm it. There are quite, quite a lot of characteristics in both marks, and, I mean, I'm really satisfied that it is... Um, definitely this mark is from the same person. So I think we can now send out um, someone to rest this afternoon. Hello, Wayne. Nice to see you back. But a stabbing this time, though? Not really your style, is it? You're wasting your time. It wasn't me. So how come your prints are all over the place? I already told them out there. I was there doing some decorating. Apologies about the state of the office. As you'll see, the Commissioner doesn't waste his money on luxury accommodation for us. Now, we've had some really good news, in as much as the fingerprints found at the scene have actually gone ident with a suspect. The unfortunate bit is that he's claiming legitimate access to the premises in that he's been there previously. The only good thing is, when he was arrested, we actually found there was another man with him. He had a bag of tools, and we're hoping that the tools in that bag are going to be able to be matched back to the scene. The crowbar recovered from the second suspect is submitted for forensic analysis. A silicon rubber cast from an imprint made in lead is compared under microscope with a cast taken at the crime scene. Now, if you look at the two images side by side, you can see that the marks are identical. So there are at least seven points of uh, similarity. The more points of similarity that you have, the more confident you can be of a definite match. But uh, with this particular sample, I would say there was a high degree of certainty that this tool was uh, the same tool that was used at the crime scene. So, can you confirm that this is the crowbar that was in your possession when you were arrested? Well, for the purposes of the tape, the suspect refuses to answer. This is uh, a dust lift from the crime scene. At the moment, you probably can't see too much, but when I shine an oblique, light across it. You can see that the, the lift shows a very, very clear shoe mark on that surface. I've been given a pair of trainers from a suspect to compare with the crime scene mark and that is done with a special chemical and a photographic piece of paper and it's done in this fashion which gives a very good impression of the pattern on the base of the trainer. What we'll do now is to compare one with the other. We can immediately see here there's some wear in this area here. And you can see here on the shoe, the area there is completely worn away there. Opposite there, there's some cut damage, which we can see quite clearly just there on the lift, dust lift issue mark there. 
I'm convinced with the wear pattern on the shoe and the large amounts of damage on the base of the shoe which compare exactly with the lifted mark from the crime scene that I will be able to go to court and say I am 100% certain that that shoe and no other shoe made that mark at the crime scene. Okay, Jason, do you want to help me out here? Because I'm a little confused. You see, it's your crowbar that broke open the door. And we've got your shoe marks in the soil from the plant pot, which puts you there at the time of the assault. And yet you say you were never there. Jason? No comment. jumper that's just come in. We'll have a look and see if there's anything interesting. We've got some pollen here. Now I can do something with this. Forensic science isn't just about evidence left behind at the crime scene. We also unwittingly pick up evidence wherever we go. Anne-Marie Brennan is a botanist with a special interest in pollen. You can see pollen at quite a low magnification but here we've got a very high one and this is lovely and I think I know what this is I think that we are talking lily pollen here looks like a, a miniature sugar puff this pollen will look like other lily pollen but will look completely different to pollen of a different species because pollen is species specific it has to be because otherwise one plant will be able to fertilize any other and there will be mayhem we are talking about lily and one thing we can say is that this person who's been wearing this jumper has been in contact with Lily. It just keeps getting better. We've got pollen on your jumper that comes from Lily's. Just like the ones in that poor guy's living room. Maybe I like flowers. Perhaps I bought some for my girlfriend. Don't mess me about, Jason. That bloke's seriously ill. He could die! <laughs>